Okay, Bismillah. I want to just add a little bit more explanation onto a very small video that I done earlier on about why I don't read the Bible. Because I don't want people to come out with the wrong ideas about me insulting the, the Bible or being disrespectful to Christians or anything like that. This is not what I meant by that at all. What I mean by I don't read, there's no, why would I read the Bible is because the Quran supersedes the Bible. It's the next, it's the latest one. It's the last one. Okay, so we know, or Christians will, you know, um, understand this as well, that the Bible isn't a book, like the Quran is a book. The Bible is an accumulation of books, about 200 different books by 200 different authors over uh, from the Old Testament to the New Testament, somewhere about 5,000 years. Okay, we don't have the original names of the people that, that scribed this down. We don't have hardly any original text from them, them time eras that correlate with the modern day Bible. I mean, there's some bits and pieces here and there, but we got hardly any, if, if much at all. It's been translated into so many different languages without the original text. We know that in, the, in history, people like Constantine, the Roman emperor, have taken stuff out that they didn't like and put stuff in that they, didn't, that they did want to be in there. And there's contradictions and um, flaws and faults in, 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 in all of that, okay? Then that's not a criticism of the Christians, okay? But even Christians will... You know, they, they, they'll understand that, okay? And they'll have their arguments to counter it. No problem, that's up to them. But for me, if I have the Quran, and it's, I believe, the Word of God, and it is, we have the originals, we have all the names and the, and the history of the people that scribed it down and the context in which it was done, we have explanations, we have the Prophet, Salam, peace be upon him, as, 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 a, as a, a living example of it. We have all of this evidence that it has never been changed. There, it, there is only one it's a miracle. Why would I read any other religious book from any other religion? It makes no sense for me to do that. Okay. Now, that's not to say that you shouldn't learn about history and you shouldn't learn. There's no harm in reading books of theology and, and things. There's no harm in any of that. You know, seeking knowledge is, re is, is recommended in our religion. So I'm not saying just be just focus on this and be, have tunnel vision and don't learn from science and don't know. Learn from all of these things, but the Quran and the Sunnah is center, front and center always, okay? And that is, I think, agreeable to mo nearly all Muslims, okay? So that's all I meant. I know there are a lot of brothers out there and, and, and sisters out there that study the Bible to quite an extent um, in order so when they are debating or conversing with a Christians or a Christian, they can show them the verses in the Bible where this said this, but on the other sort of side, it said something different. And then two things don't correlate and there's contradictions and all of this. OK, I'm not criticizing that way of doing it. OK, that's that's not what I do or that's not how I approach it. I don't criticize their book or their religion. I just call them towards ours. I just call them towards the beauty and the perfection of Islam. That's it. I don't have to go into it, the truth doesn't need to point out all of the lies to be known to be the truth. The truth will just stand out. It doesn't need to say, well, that's wrong and that's a lie and that's wrong and that's a lie. It doesn't need to do that. It just is the truth. And you will see that all of these other ideologies and religions that don't have anything in common except that they don't like the truth. They're united upon that. They have, they have a consensus that they don't like Islam, even if they have nothing else in common with each other that's how you know you're talking the truth and the truth doesn't need to point out the flaws in other people's books and in other people's religions we, we just call them towards ours just call them towards islam that's it that's that's all you need to do in my opinion okay so i wasn't criticizing christians or their christian book or any other religion okay i'm simply just calling you towards mine towards islam towards tawhid towards the quran that's it i'm just simply calling you towards mine i don't really without sounding rude or arrogant, I really care about any other religion in a sense that I don't care enough about it to have to read their books and study it because I could just make, invest that time reading mine and, and learning about mine because I need to do a lot more of and that's it. So just a little explanation of that video. Sometimes you put a little video up and it can be misunderstood because there's no, there's no context to what you're saying, okay? People, 